of the readings on threads on Reddit of people asking how to get better FPS in CSGO, I have decided to uh, research it and optimize my own game. And with all the research I have done, I will now showcase for you how to get more FPS in CSGO. I had around 100 FPS before I did this uh, optimizations. And now I always have 300 FPS plus, sometimes 400. Uh, when playing uh, normal competitive maps on uh, 128.6 servers and 64.6 servers. So uh, let's start off with uh, the basics. What you first want to do uh, to optimize uh, your FPS is check your background programs. And uh, some of you, uh, you, will, uh, you won't have like any shit uh, background programs or anything. And this will be an unnecessary step for you, but uh, I will have more uh, things for you uh, to do later. But anyways, you want to check your uh, processes and see if you have like unnecessary programs running. Um, and you can also check down here uh, if you have any programs running there. So if you have any programs that you don't need to have running, then you should disable uh, them from starting like at Windows launch, or you should just turn them off before going in game. If you have a powerful PC, this probably won't matter much anyways, like it won't affect your FPS a lot. That's why I have a few programs running anyways. Um, what you want to do next is check your graphics drivers. So make sure they are up to date. I have a, an NVIDIA, uh, graphics card, so I use NVIDIA uh, experience. So you can open that and then you just check so your graphics drivers are up to date. And I had an update right now, and I'm not gonna update it right now. So, what you want to do next is uh, check your Windows settings. You want to disable uh, game DVR and you can do that by right clicking on the Windows icon down here. This only applies to uh, Windows 10 with the content creators update. Uh, otherwise you will have to disable game DVR in another way uh, and I cannot showcase that because I have uh, game creators but I can link a tutorial on how to do it if you don't have the creators update in the description. Anyways, what you want to do is right click on the Windows button. You want to go to settings. You want to go to gaming in the middle. And then you want to turn off everything here. You see I have it on off. And then you go to game DVR. And you want to turn this to off. Off. And this doesn't matter because it's already off. But you want to have this off. And game mode, you want to disable that too. You don't want to use any of the Windows game settings. They're all shit. When that's done, you can just close it. And now we're going to move on to launch options. And then you go to uh, your Steam library, CSGO. And then you right click on it and press properties. And then you will see a setting called launch options and you press it. Or a button rather. And you will see here is my launch options. I have console, language, no joy, uh, no vid, frequency. So this is just so the console is enabled. This is just my language pack uh, that I use. And this is uh, disables all like uh, controllers. This disables the loading screen. And this sets your uh, update uh, refresh rate to 144 hertz. If you have like 120 hertz, you put 120. If you have uh, 60 hertz, you put 60, or you don't even need to do anything then. You can just delete it. So I see a lot of uh, tutorials telling people to put uh, like how many cores and stuff you have in your launch options. I would not uh, recommend doing that though, because it can cause your CSGO to be unstable. And most of the time, CSGO will just do it better itself uh, without you actually putting in how many cores you have, because it's been updated. So it's pretty good now, you don't have to do it. Um, 
So what I think you should put is no joy and no vid. That's it. The others are just if you actually want to. They don't really benefit anything. I can leave all my uh, settings down in the description. So after that you wanna uh, go to uh, your CSGO Steam library. So here's my Steam library and I press on Steam apps, common, uh, CSGO uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Then you go to CSGO, then you go to CFG, and in here, you want to add this file, autoexe.cfg. I will uh, link the download to this file in the description. And uh, after that, you want to open it. You can open it with uh, any, uh, any uh, file editor like you want. I use Notepad++ and I will leave a link for that in the description as well. So as you can see here is lots of commands and uh, many of them are optional. Like you don't need them to improve the FPS. Like this, if you don't, this makes, this is just like a, a radar button. It zooms in and out the radar. If you don't want it, just delete it. It doesn't really matter if you leave it though, if you don't press the button. But I want it, so I will leave it. But if you don't want it, just delete it. Um, voice underscore mixer underscore volume. It uh, changes your uh, microphone volume, like how many percent it should have. I have 85. If you don't know what this does, just delete it, like that. This puts your uh, CSGO at 1 in 28 uh, tick rate. And this uh, gives your uh like maximum amount of bandwidth available to the server you should just leave it like this all of this you should just leave uh yes everything else should just be left like it is and then you press save and then you close it and now you have an auto execute after that you want to launch your csgo And I have uh, I play on four free resolution because I uh, like it more. So uh, that's why it's black bars on the side. Anyways, what you wanna do now is uh, go to uh, what you wanna do first is download a um, benchmark map. And you can do that by going to play, find a game, workshop, and then view workshop. And then you want to search for uh, FPS benchmark. And you want to download this map. I will leave a link for it in the description as well. So you subscribe to it, and then it will be here, and then you press start local server. Now you press continue, you just join any team. And then you press start. And 
now it will give you uh, your FPS after it runs. So just let it run once. And now that's done, it will give you your average frame rate here. So now you need to write that number down or just remember it. Because now you're gonna play around with the game setting. You wanna go to options, and then you wanna go to video settings. And here, higher. Uh, Settings can actually sometimes give you higher FPS. I know it sounds weird, but it could result in higher FPS in some situations. So, to optimize your uh, FPS the best, you can try putting it at uh, higher. And then, after every time you change like one setting, you run the benchmark to see if you get higher FPS or lower. Uh, if you don't want to waste your time, put everything at lowest and uh, then press apply. You want to disable motion blur, vertical sync, and just have my settings like this. But if you actually want to optimize the best, you need to change every setting and uh, do the benchmark after every, after every time to see how well you do. Also, you can change your resolution to get higher FPS. Uh, playing in for free as the radio will often give you higher FPS as well. And going down in resolution will also give you higher FPS. I don't really have any FPS troubles anymore though, so I run the highest resolution I can on 4 free, because I like 4 free more than uh, 16 by 9. Another thing you can do is go to audio settings, and here you will see stereo headphones HRTF. If you you can go to stereo headphones and disable HRTF. And then try uh, and the benchmark again and see how man, much FPS you get. Now, I get more FPS without it, but I prefer playing with it, so I will leave it on. Because I already have enough S FPS anyways. Um, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. So, you want to use this match, uh, this uh, map. To play around with the settings, other than the ones I already told you, and you should gain more FPS. Also, without doing anything, the auto execute should give you higher FPS as well that I've left in the description. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you like the video, leave a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.